X18 is a med ball in bands workout with three main goals. We're gonna master the med ball and band training basics. We're gonna be using joint friendly exercises for longevity. And we're also gonna build stamina and endurance. You're really gonna enjoy this workout. Here we go. The med ball squeeze bridge march is one of my favorite drills to strengthen the glutes and work the entire pelvic floor. Now, this is especially important for women, especially post-pregnancy, but it's also very important for men. This is the foundation of everything. We have to get a stable pelvis because our lumbar spine attaches to it. If this is out of position, then our lower back will be too. So squeeze it as hard as you can. Also works the groin and adductors really hard. And by going one leg at a time, it's gonna shift it to this glute as I stabilize and push in. I also get a lot of good quad activation. Little VMO lower quad activation as I squeeze and push into the ball. I'm just gonna do an exhale when I reach out with the leg. And heel back. Try this for one to two minutes at a time. Start with a five or 10 pound med ball. You can increase the weight to increase the challenge to stay up there. But again, my favorite ball for this is the Dynamax ball because it's soft and padded. You can really, see that? You can really you hear, hear the air come out of it. You can squeeze the hell out of it and really get the most out of it for the pelvic floor and the groin. Enjoy, great warm up drill. The 4-4 band climber is the ultimate cardio core in breathing challenge. Four means four leg exchanges. So we do four leg exchanges, smooth inhale through the nose into the belly, four leg exchanges, smooth exhale through the mouth. Now this is already a breathing challenge to sync up that rhythmic breathing. But when you're in a plank position, because all these other muscles around your trunk, they actually are secondary breathing muscles, but when they're working to stabilize you in the plank, this diaphragm right here has to do all of the work. So it's extra challenging and you're supporting your weight. So it really makes those hip flexors and abs work hard. So start nice and slow with this. Now I like the band here because without the band, we don't get encouraged to push away. Now when I don't have enough push away, see it kind of, it's hard for my legs to get in. Actually, my legs touch the floor, my toes touch. When I really get that protraction, activate the serratus anterior muscles alongside the ribs, now I've got space. Make it smooth. You want a big challenge, the biggest challenge of this is close the mouth entirely and make it all nasal. Get after it today. The double banded glute bridge march uses two bands for three unique angles of resistance to get the most out of your glute training. Now, we put a mini band above the knees. This is gonna give me two areas of resistance. One is laterally, pushing out against to get my lateral glutes and hip rotators. And in this position, so push out, but as I Tuck one knee to the chest. It gives resistance for the top leg hip flexor and the bottom leg glute. This band right here gives me horizontal resistance for hip extension for the high hamstrings in the glutes. Combined, we've got an incredible exercise that looks like you're doing Spider-Man training, right? A lot of equipment, but again, understand why. And if you have trouble, back pain, knee pain, and you wanna get ready for squats, deadlifts, or any sort of heavy lower body training, do this for a minute or two to wake up these key muscles, offset the benefits of all that sitting, driving, texting, you name it, and put yourself in the best position to have success in and outside of the gym, bye-bye. Get ready for the best at home or travel triceps exercise using a simple resistance band. Now, here's how we set up. Loop it like this, step on the middle of the foot. Now, I like to take the band and cross it like this, and what I'm gonna do is kind of hammer grip it, and I'm just going to turn and come away. And now I've got that bottom position set up. I'm going to exhale up, try to really squeeze out those triceps at the top because I get peak tension and peak contraction there. And then inhale down and I get the least amount of resistance here. Now this is where people tend to get pain with a dumbbell or barbell or easy curl tricep extension. So again, bands, take that away. And again, give you that peak tension and peak contraction. So once we get good at it, we can speed it up. This is great for sets of 10 to 20 reps. Now, my favorite way to do this is take a hand towel and it just lets me get more range of motion, more separation, more comfort for my hands. So I'm locked in, same thing, turn away, make sure it's even, and then I can really start to pump it out and make it metabolic. Almost two thirds of your upper arm mass is the tricep. Train it, train it hard, but train it smart, enjoy. The slam is already fun, but why not make it more fun by adding a little lateral step. Make your glutes work harder, train your body, and often, 
undertrained plane of motion to prevent injury and really get the heart rate up. This is super challenging too when you really work on ripping the ball back overhead and squeezing it so you get maximum tricep recruitment and shoulder and lat mobility. Keep the shoulders higher than the hips. Exhale up. So exhale down. Inhale up. Get after it today. The band chop is an awesome rotational core exercise on your feet. Think golf, baseball, tennis, racquetball, all these rotational sports. Also, any sort of MMA or boxing will help you build that rotational power. Now, first things first, set up. How do you loop a band? Whether it's on this pole, power rack, or stable support structure, I even have that weighted down extra with heavy dumbbells. Or if I don't have anything to anchor it to like this, I take the heaviest dumbbells I have and make sure it's a smooth, non-serrated surface here. If not, wrap a hand towel around that. And all I'll do is loop it like this. I just take one end of the band, slip it through the other, okay? I have electrical tape in my dumbbells so that I won't serrate my bands when I use the attachment. I take the other bell, I put it here so it allows me to weight it down, okay? I lock in, and this is actually gonna be a low to high chop because of the angle. Go lighter if you have to go low to high because now you're working against gravity too. The horizontal chop, all right, I can go heavier with, and again, you just gotta anchor to a stable support structure. The key though is I'm not twisting at my back. I am pivoting my feet and rotating the hips. Now, the benefit of bands over a cable machine, cable is constant tension. This has peak tension or increasing tension as it stretches. So I exhale it out and it wants to rip. See that? Even try to just early reps, try to hold it without letting it pull you back. Now you have to decelerate that. And that is what helps prevent injury. It's learning how to decelerate that rotational power. So anyone can explode, can they bring it back under control? So pivot the feet, rotate the hips. Once that feels good, you can get a little more space and rip it up. The best ab work, you gotta do the ground-based stuff to get the foundation in place, but you really start to get ripped up here in the middle when you're on your feet. Do it today. The med ball drop split thruster will smoke your abs, your shoulders, and your legs. Here's what we're doing, and you wanna use a big Dynamex ball. Why? Because it's about shoulder width. If the ball is too small, it's gonna be too close and you can't get your arms overhead. So you could modify by going out to shoulder level, but overhead, where your shoulder's harder and your abs have to stabilize more. So just know that. Start nice and easy from a split squat position. We actually reverse our breathing mechanics. We're emphasizing exploding down and then recovering up. So you're gonna exhale down, inhale up, nice and slow. So, now it's harder when I make it more dynamic and I jump from parallel stance to split. Only three reps, quads are quaking, ass is shaking, heart rate's up. Start light, otherwise it's gonna get a little bit too heavy for you. The slam ball, halo to slam, I'm talking full body, cardio, shoulder mobility, and power training. Great for fat loss, great for stress relief. Now, why a slam ball? Because what happened to that fucker? He died on me. He doesn't want to do any work. I got to do all the work. I got to pick it back up. So treat this like a power deadlift. 10 to 20 pound ball is plenty. I'm going to inhale down, fill my belly with air for spinal stability. Pull the weight. See how the shoulders are higher than the hips? I'm not dumping out like this. And then you're going to exhale up and one smooth motion to pull it straight at the body, out to one side and over. See that 90 degree angle there? And then I've got all that inhale loaded up to explode. Plug that into a circuit or do 50 to 100 total reps as fast as you can. It'll change your life. Bands and balls come together like peanut butter and jelly. I think you'll find that to be the case after this workout. Make your post-workout report in the comment section below. You're done in 20 minutes. And again, these are two tools we'll be using throughout the year. Very home and travel friendly. And again, easy on your joints, but hard on your muscles. Love you guys. Peace.
go. Halfway. 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 Halfway.
go. Halfway. 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 Halfway.
Go. Halfway. 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 Rest. 
go. Halfway. 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 Rest. 